Good morning everybody. So we're here today at Disney's Animal Kingdom and if you watched last week's blog, I'll put a link up there in a minute. Um, if you watched last week's blog, the weather wasn't very good. In fact, it was raining pretty bloody hard uh, most of the day. Um, today is a completely different picture. Blue skies, bit of cloud, lovely warm breeze, 80 something degrees. So it's going to be a good day, I think. Today is going to be pretty much uh, a show day. We haven't got any rides planned on fast passes. We've got uh, Nemo and we've got Animal, uh, sorry, uh, Lion King. So we're going to do a bit of that today and we'll see what the lines are like. Uh, it's Disney Marathon weekend, which I've got to say I completely forgot about. Luckily, it's Saturday today and it's the half marathon rather than the full marathon. So lots of cones are out, lots of more to lose. Ready for tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow's going to be carnage. If you're coming down here and you're staying off site, I'd really recommend you don't come down the main drag, you come around somewhere else or you just wait until um, kind of after, after midday because it's going to be nuts tomorrow. I've done this before got caught in it, don't want to do it again, wouldn't want you to get caught in it either, so take, take my warning please. Um, Alright, uh, I'll do it a bit more later, see you then. Today is the 11th of January 2020, uh, I'm a bit surprised, that I, I didn't think we were going to have the Christmas tree still up, I guess that's coming down fairly soon, we've got the Christmas decorations that wrap around the place, but uh, it feels anything but Christmas here, I can tell you, it's just like summertime, it's uh, unseasonably warm I would say, but it's very nice. Uh, I didn't do this in the first video, the first vlog that we did last week, um, a bit of background on, on us, um, we're obviously from England, but we haven't lived in the UK since uh, the late, late 2008, we did five years in Dubai, and then we've been here in Orlando for six years, so we're, we're really lucky that we can come down to Disney um, pretty much any time we like, even after, after work, after school. There's me, my wife, um, she's a realtor, so if you uh, ever think about buying a second home, vacation home, investment, she's the, the lady to talk to, Christina. Um, my eldest daughter's in the US Army. She's been in there nearly a year. Can't tell you where she is, but she's, she's active, active duty. Um, my middle daughter, Joanne, she's at UCF. She's done a nursing degree. And Gemma, who I referred to as the producer in the last video, um, she's uh, first year of high school. And, uh, I work in, in uh, construction consultancy, I'm actually working on I-4, that's one of my jobs, but it's not my fault, okay, it's really not my fault, that's just a bit of background on us, but we're here, we're here most weeks, um, if we're not here we're at SeaWorld, we don't have um, annual passes for Universal, we kind of go between Disney and Universal, maybe if I can get this channel to be successful I'll get the, 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 the uh, annuals for all three parks, alright, time to head in, see you later. We're in and we're heading off to It's Tough To Be A Bug. Um, we tend not to kind of do very well with getting out fast passes 30 days before. We kind of just say to ourselves, okay, which park should we go to tomorrow and or, or two days away and get whatever's there. So we tend not to get some really good fast passes. We, we, I mean, we forget flights of passage and Everest and stuff like that. So we just do what we can do. But um, it's, it's going to be a good relaxing day I think today and we're just going to wander around Animal Kingdom and see what we can do, see what the lines are going to be like. I'll have a look on the app in a minute and uh, see what we can do. We're not going to be doing flights of passage though or, or we might wander around Pandora, have a look around, see what's going on but that's going to be it. You know you're in Animal Kingdom when you see this. That's a great sight. The Tree of Life. In the evening time when it's dark there's a brilliant uh, show that's, that's put against the tree. Um, they use every inch of it. It's a bit like uh, happy, happy, Happily Ever After at Magic Kingdom, but obviously against this tree. But it's really worth staying for. If you've, if you've never seen it, it's, it's really worth staying for. Just by It's Tough To Be A Bug, you can find the characters from up. Oh. There they are. There is a, a, bit of, a little bit of a line, but I've seen worse. We're fast passing, it's tough to be a bug uh, because that's one of the three that we got, you know, we might as well use them rather than lose them. Uh, I do like this uh, little show actually, I mean, it's, it's been around a long time now, um, but it's got a, little, a couple of little quirks. Uh, if you've got really young kids, sometimes 
they don't like it, they don't like the 3D, or they don't like the smells, they don't like the sounds, or they don't like the 4D aspect of it. And I'm, I'm not going to spoil that. If you've never seen it, the show before, I'm not going to spoil what goes on, but we might we might find that you know, a handful of two or three small kids uh, start screaming. It's, uh, it's kind of what happens. But, but I do like this show. Oh, the, the, the line actually sort of curves around the Tree of Life. It's, it's bang up there. There it is right now. And then we uh, we kind of go around it. It's, it's great to see the, the different animals that are in that tree. I'll see if I can pick a couple out in a minute. The Buzz is ready to present their show. It's tough to be a bug. So the line for the It's Tough to Be a Bug Please actually wraps around and under loud noises, the Tree of Life. So you can effects, see already, this is, this is actually the base viewers. of the Tree of Life. So Please see a tree there are animals there. There are more. That's the more trunk of the tree up there. It's cool just to pick out the different animals. There's but tons of them. Of any open food or just pass the time a little bit by either. looking and seeing what's up there. I think that's an advert. I think so. Still going around the tree of life. That was an elephant back there. I, at least I hope it was. The pelican. Uh, the dinosaur. Okay. Fossils as well. Baboons, I think. There you go. So this is sort of confirmed what I said before. It says this attraction may be frightening for children. Yeah, that's about right. There's a, a gorilla. There we go. Nice. Oh, okay. We're going straight in. No wait today. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to video this, I mean it's a 3D show. This show contains some really darkness, some loud noises, and some creepy crawly special so effects that may be a bit intense for some viewers. So I'll leave it at that. We're in Asia now, this is the, the Yak and Yeti. Um, don't think we're going to visit there today, but this is my favourite restaurant in uh, Animal Kingdom. You can see at the back there, that's where the restaurant is itself and the the, the second floor, the top floor, uh, you got a pretty good view. If you're at the corner there, you get a pretty good view out. Um, if you didn't know, uh, the Yak and Yeti is part of the Landry's group. So if you don't have a reservation, then if you've got a Landry's card, you just flash the Landry's card and you get to the front of the queue. And you don't really have to wait very much, uh, very long at all. So in peak periods, like summertime, Christmas time, Easter time, that's a really good thing to know. Um, I, I've used it before, so that's so, so don't forget Landry's is, is where you can get into Bubba Gump as well in, in uh, City Walk at Universal. So um, the, the queues at Bubba Gump can sometimes be quite large as well. You can wait half an hour, 45 minutes for um, for food or for a reservation to get in at, at, um, at Bubba Gump's. So just a little tip for you there. This is. Anandapur local food cafes. So th this is the Yak and Yeti's kind of takeout section. It's pretty good. Obviously the, the uh, menu is a little bit less extensive than in the Yak and Yeti, but it's pretty good, pretty good takeout. Um, there's quite a lot of seating around the corner here, which is, which is great, especially if it's raining. I mean, the, you know, one of the things you can do when it's raining is, is eat. And um, you know, there's a big cover there that you can, you can get under and, and just grab some food while it's raining out for that rain disappears in summertime you know we get these showers that last half an hour an hour uh, usually a little bit later than this it's only coming up to one o'clock but you know it's, if you can time it properly you can sit through the rain and get back out and enjoy the park all right i'm going to enjoy my food i think i'm going to fried rice and yeah. chicken so what's that chicken Sweet and sour honey so we got honey chicken and teriyaki beef and we got teriyaki beef and a couple of cokes what was and the cost of that 47 47 and fried, and rice. fried rice okay so 47 dollars it's uh yeah it's not going to be cheap you know it's not going to be cheap at disney yeah, that's what it is it's pretty good it's pretty good uh hello it's pretty good uh food though but 47 bucks yeah yes oh god yes i filmed that bit yes 
you can be the thumbnail. Yeah, you can be the thumbnail. Yes, you can be the thumbnail. Yeah, probably not. Maybe the tree line. Uh, so, I don't know if you can see this. It's, this is a little electrical outlet right here. I've just seen some guy uh, charging his phone. So if you're lucky enough to get like this table and you've got a long enough cord, whilst you're eating, you could usefully charge your phone. It's, I've never seen that before, but it's handy to know. Having a look at the wait times at Animal Kingdom, it's 12.44. And there we go, Triceratops spin five, tough to be above 30. Um, that's a character meet and greet, 30 minutes, Kilimanjaro 75, Expedition Everest 85, okay, won't be doing that then, Navi 90, uh, Flights of Passage 125, so that's two hours and five minutes, and Dinosaur is not operational. Okay, we're going to head over to Africa, and our next Fast Pass is for the Festival of the Lion King, really good show that, and I'll put a card in the video here, because I'm going to be... Um, I'm going to be videoing that show today, first time that I've done that with the new camera. So um, I'll, put a, I'll put a link up there and um, give it a watch. It's, uh, if you've never seen it, really good show, really good stage show. Probably second only to Nemo, I guess. Um, although if you, if you like um, Beauty and the Beast, then that's pretty good over at Hollywood Studios. I haven't done that one either yet. But yeah, watch out for the Festival of the Lion King show. And we're going to go to Nemo later again today as well so i'm going to put that video up there as well got a fast pass for that too so i should get some pretty good sense all right heading over to africa i'm just gonna have a little wander around harambe great theming not so many people today it's actually quite a nice little wander around you can hear the music in the background here that's this chap a good um, kind of dance uh, and music show here as well you can see the stage there behind that's Tusker House so that's one of the character dining experiences in Animal Kingdom Side there, Kusafari, or Kusafiri, sorry. Up ahead of us is uh, Kilimanjaro Safaris. That's a really good ride, or it can be. Um, if you get there early in the day, or my favourite's actually a kind of twilight ride. Um, if you get there, if, you've got to find out when the sun's going down. So whenever you're here, find out when the sun's going down and try and get on that ride maybe 10 minutes or 15 minutes before the sun goes down you get a lot of animals coming out because obviously it's cooler um, and some some of the animals are more nocturnal so you do tend to get more animals in the evening time than you would at any other time of the day uh, it is worth fast passing um, the the, the um, lines for Kilimanjaro safaris can be quite long this is the uh, standby line for the two o'clock festival of the lion king show so it's about two minutes to one right now so it looks like the theatre is full and these guys are going to be waiting for a little while it actually goes around the corner as well wow that's that's a big line for Lion King is worth seeing though really is worth seeing just come out from the festival of the Lion King that's always a great show it's half an hour actually it's a, it's a big performance half an hour and uh, it's really colourful, great songs from the film, and the actors, they always give a great performance. I think I got a pretty good video of the whole show um, with my other camera, so it's a lot better in low light than, uh, than this GoPro that I'm using now. Um, so I'm going to give it a good, good look uh, when, I, when I get home and see if it's fit for upload, and if it is, then I'll definitely put a, a little card up there. And if you want, you can have a look at it, see what you think. This is the way from Harambe into uh, 
Pandora. So it's not the way that you'd, you'd see if you came in through the uh, entrance to the park. There's some information to keep you safe, look. So just round the corner here, we're going to see the floating mountains. This is really good. The theming is, is fantastic. Um, I think they've only surpassed this now through uh, Galaxy's Edge in Hollywood Studios. But before that, this, this was something else. There are a couple of shows that go on in, uh, in Pandora. Um, one is where the, there's a, a rookie testing out um, an eco-skeleton. Um, and that lasts, oh, that's a probably a 10 minute show. And that's down near Wind Traders. And then they have, uh, they have the drummers. And they invite people to kind of join in. And I don't know whether that's going to start soon. That's, um, I mean, the drums are down here, so when, when they're not <laughs> when they're not being used by uh, the, the performers, then people can just have a, a little go on them themselves. Here they are now. So there's the stage just up there. So they're not here now. I don't know when the next show is. If it's going to be soon. I'll check it out a little bit. Just to the left is uh, the queue for uh, Navi River Rapids at 95 minutes at the moment. So we'll be giving that a miss today. I'm just going to check out how long the flights of passage standby is just as I like to torture myself and it is 135 minutes so yeah, not queuing for that not queuing for that at all if you're wondering what the uh, what the seat for this looks like this is it so you can kind of test it out um, you, you do get there's somebody just now. You, you, you get kind of clamped in by your by your calves, and then you kind of lean over. It's kind of like handlebars, like a bit like a bike. Um, it's actually quite comfortable, um, and the seat is almost alive. It, it acts like it acts like the um, like if you're sitting on a horse and the horse is breathing, something like that. It's very cool, actually. Looks like we've decided to call it a day. Um, yeah, it Christina's like got a bit of a headache. Nemo's really loud. So and it just went, we're going to give it a I, miss. And, um, like, so next week like we're planning on going to the Magic Kingdom. I'm going to try and get them there for rope drop if I can, just so that you can see what you can get done if you get there early. And that's always my recommendation. I don't always live by what I say, but I'm going to try and do it next week and I'm going to see what we can get done. We'll, we'll try and get some good fast passes as well, but with only seven days, I'm not sure what we're going to get. Um, so that's it for today. Um, hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, obviously give it a, give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe, that'd be nice. That'd be nice. Uh, I'm going to try and do vlogs more regularly than I have. Obviously, I've only done two now. So I'm going to try and do them wherever we, whenever we visit, whatever park we visit. And maybe we're going to do some off beaten track stuff as well but um, if you want more of this stuff subscribe hit the notification bell and we upload every Wednesday and Sunday 10 o'clock Eastern 2 o'clock GMT see you next time